Hi guys, I am Srija. Today, uh, topic is relations. What is meant by relations? I will say all types of uh, relations. How many there? These all things I will say. Okay, first of all, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Okay. Uh, if you have any backlogs, uh, means you can visit my Play Store. All semesters one 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 two two one uh, semesters all subjects are available. So you can and if you can't see those all videos, uh, then you can go to. Uh, I will give in description Telegram link, Instagram link. Uh, if you text there, I will send all those uh, what you want that subject. I will send. Okay, okay. Relations. What is meant by relations means relation is called a binary. relation a uh, relation is also called a binary relations okay we can call a binary relation also okay a uh, relation is defined as a collection of order pairs here order pairs means what cartesian product okay cartesian product two sets okay let us see one example then you can easily uh, understand if a is equals to a b c and b is equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay uh, set means what a it is represented by a always set is represented with capital letters in uh, after in set the elements should be small a comma small a comma small b comma okay 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay this is the set okay Cap capital letter should be represented with set okay okay a already we done then find a cross b here a cross b a cross b okay a cross b now uh, a comma 1 a comma 2 a comma 3 okay here we done next b comma 1 b comma 2 b comma 3 next c comma 1 c comma 2 c comma 3 okay now we done what A comma A cross B. Now let's see one example. One more example is B cross A. Now B first B. After that we should cross A. Okay, B cross A. Okay, this is the Cartesian product. Okay, one comma A, one comma B, one comma C. Okay, be done. One minute, one minute, one minute. I done wrong. One comma A, two comma A. Three comma a, one comma b, two comma b. Sorry, sorry. Two comma b, three comma b, one comma c, two comma c, three comma c. Okay, like that. Now we got a cross b, b cross a. Okay, let's see one one more example. A cross b. Is not equals to b cross a because it is not equal any uh, not matches. Okay, that's why. Next, another example here for relations. For relations, one more example is let x is equals to two comma three comma four and y three comma four comma five comma six comma seven. X comma Y belongs to R. I uh, I forgotted that here. I one more point is there. See, ordered pair means X comma Y belongs to R. R is a relation. X comma Y uh, Y should be belongs to R means that is called a relation. Okay, let's see example. Uh, two first take two. Two the X divides. Y na so here x x divides y first two two table uh, two divides four o oh. now two table what two ones are two 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 are four two three are four like that the those those values will be present here or not if present means we should uh, write two comma four two divides uh, four yes so two two are four so that's why here we wrote two comma four next. Two comma six. Yes, two three is a six. That's why we wrote here two. Okay. Next term, two comma eight. Yes, two four is a eight. That's why two divides eight. So that's why. Okay. Next to see three three table one three 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 one is a three. So that's why three divides three. Next three divides six. Three 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 two is a six. That's why three divides six. Next 
थ्री कामा थ्री कामा सेवन नॉट सैटिस्फाइड थ्री कामा एट आलसो नॉट सैटिस्फाइड दैट दैट्स वाई वी शुड लीव दैम एंड नेक्स्ट फोर्थ फोर फोर वन सा फोर सो फोर डिवाइड्स फोर नेक्स्ट फोर डिवाइड्स एट ओके रिमेनिंग नॉट सैटिस्फाइड दैट्स वाई यू शुड लीव ओके दिस इज द रिलेशन दिस इज ओवरऑल इट इज कॉल्ड एज रिलेशन ओके now another example is let us uh, take x is equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 x comma y belongs to r x less than equals to y okay uh, x is, here the condition is x less than equals to 5 so that's why uh, 1 comma 1 yes 1 is less than equals to 1 yes so 1 uh, it is satisfied next 1 comma 2 One is less than equals to two. Yes, it is also satisfied. One less than three, less than equals to three. Yes, it is also three. Ah, uh, because uh, one is uh, less uh, less than, so that's why it is satisfied. Next one is uh, less than equals to four. Yes, it is also satisfied. Okay. Next is ah uh, two. Take two. Two. Two is less than equals to one. No, that's why it is not satisfied. Two is less than equals to two. Yes, it is satisfied. Ah, uh, two is uh, less than equals to three. Yes, it is also satisfied. And two is uh, less than equals to four. Yes, it is also satisfied. Okay, because two is less. Uh, three four, comparing to three four. That's why it is. Next three, take three. Three comma three. Yes, three less than equals to three. Yes, it is satisfied. And three less than equals to four. Yes, it is satisfied. Okay, one see three less than equals to one. No, it is not satisfied. Three less than equals to two. No, it is also not satisfied. So that's why you should not write here in relation uh, um, in these elements. You should not write those who those who uh, not satisfied that that elements should not write. Okay. Next four see four less than equals to four. Yes, it is equal. So it is uh, satisfied. So this is the a relation. Okay, I think you can understand. Now types of relations. How many types of relations? Reflexive relation, irreflexive relation, and symmetric relation, and anti-symmetric relations, and transitive relations. First one by one, we should see. Means you can easily understand what is the relations. Okay, then. Uh, first reflexive relation okay reflexive relation a relation r on set a is said to be a reflexive relation a comma a belongs to r for any a belongs to a here a set a means what set uh, set means what a is the set this is the set in set what we have Say uh, like uh, elements, uh, small letters A comma B comma. Set is denoted by always uh, higher case letters like capital letters. Okay. Next, A comma A in set A comma A should be belongs to R means relation. Uh, relation A comma A belongs to relation means uh, that is a reflexive relation. Once I will say one example, then you can understand easily. Okay, example. They gave one set A is the capital letter. Okay, set denoted with A, and one comma two comma three is the set elements. Okay. Now our relation also they gave one comma one, one comma two, two one comma three, two comma two. This is the relation. Okay, what they gave. Okay, one see this condition A comma A belongs to R. So we have same letters A A. Here also in digits also we should have same digits means the same elements means uh, this that is belongs to R reflexive that is called a reflexive. One see in this relation we have any same digit same elements. Yes, we have one comma one is belongs to R and two comma two belongs to R. And three comma three is also a belongs to R, so it is a reflexive. Okay. Next, if uh, three comma three is not belongs to R, uh, this digit is not there, then it is a irreflexive. Okay, not belongs to R. Okay, so that is not a uh, reflexive. Okay, one two three is reflexive. Okay, all is present here. Same letter, same digits. 
so it is called a reflexive a belongs to a a comma a belongs to capital a set a okay next irreflexive irreflexive means what a relation r on set a is said to be a irreflexive if a comma a belongs to r uh, a comma a not belongs to r uh, for every a belongs to a okay one see this example 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 comma 3 1 comma this is the relation they give now it is a relational or not re relational a comma a is is there anywhere means the same 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 is not there so that's why it is a irreflexive okay not belongs to r so it is a reflexive irreflexive relation next symmetric re relation c once a a relation r on set a one minute ah uh, a relation on set r set on set a uh, is said to be is called symmetric relation if a comma b belongs to r then b comma a belongs to r for all a comma b belongs to r here you should observe that a comma b belongs to r b comma a belongs to r same digits should be come repeat okay let us consider the set a a equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 a relation r is defined on set a r equals to 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 3 comma 3 4 comma 2 2 comma 4 uh this is the relation okay a is the set and uh, r is the relation now this is a symmetric or not a symmetric you should find now 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 is belongs to means uh, a comma b here see once a comma b belongs to r b comma a belongs to r okay 1 comma 2 belongs to r 2 comma 1 also belongs to r so it is a symmetric next also one once again okay 4 comma 2 4 comma 2 belongs to r 2 comma 4 also belongs to r so it is a symmetric the relation r is symmetric okay next anti symmetric relation anti symmetric anti symmetric means a relation r on set a is called a anti symmetric if a comma b belongs to r and b comma a belongs to r then a equals to b here once uh, observe here Let, uh, example one see example let us consider set a 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 a relation r is defined as set a this is a relation they gave re relation and set a and relation okay now we should find that is a uh, anti symmetric or not 1 comma 3 okay one see here a comma b 1 comma 3 is there in set but 3 comma 1 is uh, not there so it is a 1 comma 3 we can't see in relation yes yeah 1 comma 3 is there but 3 comma 1 we can't see so 3 comma 1 not belongs to r so a is not equals to b so it is a anti it is not is anti symmetric when a comma b is belongs to r means it is a uh, anti symmetric okay this is the a equals to b means it is a and symmetric but it is not a uh, it is not equals to a is not equals to b so that's why it is not a anti symmetric okay transitive what is meant by transitive Tr a relation r on set a is called transitive if when when whenever a comma b belongs to r b comma c belongs to r then a comma c belongs to r okay a for every a comma b comma c belongs to a here one once uh, see one example then you can understand easily okay uh, one example a set a and set b you can take this or this i will explain this you can see this okay that also i will explain okay 1 2 3 4 this is the set okay na a uh, set should be denoted with capital letters always higher case letters only okay relation r relation r means 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 3 1 comma 4 1 comma 3 these all are the relations okay next 1 comma 2 is belongs to r and 2 comma 3 is also a belongs to r then 1 comma 3 belongs to r okay this is a transitive okay na 
ஐ திங்க் யூ கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஈஸிலி மீன்ஸ் ஒன் டூ ஈஸ் தேர் டூ த்ரீ இஸ் ஆல்சோ தேர் ஒன் த்ரீ இஸ் ஆல்சோ பிலாங்ஸ் டு ஆர் ஓகே லைக் தட் யூ ஷுட் ரிமெம்பர் ஓகே ஹியர் ஆல்சோ சி ஒன் செட் ஒன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் திஸ் இஸ் ஏ இஸ் அ செட் அண்ட் ஆர் இஸ் த ரிலேஷன் ஓகே நவ் யூ ஷுட் அப்சர்வ் தட் த்ரீ காமா டூ பிலாங்ஸ் டு ஆர் அண்ட் டூ காமா ஒன் பிலாங்ஸ் டு ஆர் ஒன் டூ த்ரீ இஸ் ப்ரெசென்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் த்ரீ காமா ஒன் ஆல்சோ பிலாங்ஸ் டு ஆர் திஸ் இஸ் ஏ transitive relation i think you can understand easily thanks friends for watching my video if you like this video please like share and subscribe if you have any backlogs can then uh, you can uh, join in my instagram link telegram link and uh, in that you can uh, ask or te- text me that uh, if you uh, what subject you say that subject i will keep okay thank you